my name is Saravana Kumar. I'm working in your bank. Uh, I understood many Hinduism now only because most of the Hindus doesn't know the, what Vedas is. Uh, but uh, do you agree all Vedas scriptures and Vedas chapters, everything, is it correct? Then some section of the people in Hindu only uh, learning that uh, Vedas. Not many Hindus are learning, they are not allowed to learn. But uh, those religion leaders also not uh, practicing the same what the Vedas says. Is it correct? Then why they are doing like that? Please answer me. Thank you. That's a good question. The first question was, do I believe with everything what the Vedas say? Point number two, the Vedas, only a selected few Hindus, learned people, they read. Others are prevented from reading. Why? Point number one, do I believe in everything of the Veda? If you analyze, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, Allah says that we have sent a revelation in every age. In every age we have sent a revelation. By name, only four are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. The Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Now, there's a person who asked me in Bombay also, that can I consider Veda to be the word of God? Do I consider Veda totally to be correct? See, by name, only four are mentioned, Torah, Zabur, Injir, and Quran. But there were many books revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now regarding Veda, can I consider the word of God? Since Veda is not mentioned by name in the Quran, or in the, any authentic hadith, I cannot say for sure that it is the word of God. I can say maybe it is, maybe it is, maybe, maybe not, but even if Veda was the word of God, it was meant for those people and for that time. Today, we have to follow the last and final revelation that is the glorious Quran for the whole of humankind. <laughs> Regarding your question, do I believe everything in the Veda? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 79. Wo to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this from Allah to traffic with it for a miserable price. Woe to those for what they earn, woe to those for what they write. Now we realize that all the previous scriptures of Almighty God, by the passage of time, they have got corrupted. They have been changed. Today we don't have the injury in the pure form, the Bible that we have. It is not the Injil which was revealed to Isa salam. They have changed in passage of time. So even if Veda was the word of God today, it has not maintained its pure form. And all the Hindu scholars, they agree. So Allah says in Surah Hijar, chapter 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran and we shall guide from corruption. Quran is also called as the Furqan, the criteria to judge right from wrong. So what I say, that whatever is matching with the Quran in the Vedas, I accept it to be true. What doesn't match, I leave it aside. Because Veda hasn't maintained its pure form according to the Hindu scholars. So what I say, whatever matches with Quran, I say I've got no objection. This part may be the word of God. But I don't agree everything of the Vedas. There are many unscientific points in the Veda. I can give a talk on that, which I don't intend giving. I can give hundreds of unscientific things mentioned in the Vedas. So what I say that this is the Furqan, the criteria. You check with this. If it matches with this, we agree it to be that part has to be true. Hope that answers the question. <laughs>